right, so I'm going to turn on my calculator. Calculator, somewhere on it has sine, inverse sine, cosine, inverse cosine, and tangent, inverse tangent. We're going to learn how to use those now. We're going to get, this is going to be a little tedious, but we're going to do it for decimal ang uh, degrees and then degrees and minutes. Because that takes a little bit longer. You have to enter <coughs> all that stuff. Find 27.2. Find the sine of 27.2. So I'm going to hit sine first, because I have a graphing, this is actually like a graphing calculator. In scientific, you would do it reverse. Um, 27.2, and I don't have to put the degree in, actually, since it's decimal, it knows that's degrees. And press enter. And you get this really long number. We're going to round that to 40. Let me write down, just we need, in case we need um, a reminder of how to do rounding. 0 0.457097927. We want to round to the fourth decimal place. And so we look to the right. If this number is 5 or above, then we increase this number by 1. If it's 4 or below, we just leave it alone. And we, either way, in either case, we drop all the other digits. So, and we use a special sign, a wavy equal sign, to show that we're approximating, we're rounding. It's going to be 0 0.4571. And again, WebAssign wants all four of those decimals. Don't give it too many. If you give it five, it's probably going to count it wrong. So just exactly four. Yeah, it's well, you know, there are the trade-offs are worth it. It's uh, it's great technology, but it is a little bit unforgiving. All right. Let's find the next one. Tangent of eighty-seven point three two. So if you're working along with me, go to your tangent button and see if you can find tangent of that function, tan of that, de of that degree, 87.32. Again, since we're using decimals, we don't really have to enter the degree here. It's just going to assume it's in degrees. And that's function. So you can't have 42, 48.62 degrees. But looking here, you see you've only got sine, cosine, and tangent, and inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent. There's no secant button on here. So we have to go over and use this, we call this identity. Secant of So let's do that. So cosine, we have that button, 48.2 degrees. Hit enter. But that's not the number we want. We want 1 over that. I can get there with this little button here where it says 1 over x. So it says 1 over the previous answer. 1.5003. And just leave off the rest. We're just going to four decimal places. You could have done this a different way. You could have just done this in one step by just saying one divided by cosine of 48.2. See, I'm doing this all in one step. Boom. Same answer. Nice. Any questions? On my calculator, I've been getting like different numbers for the new for all of the things. Like for the sine of 27.2, I got 0.892. It's for degrees for the. I got yeah, so probably what happens is you're, you're in radians oh, instead yeah, of mode. Yeah, yeah. So it's this degree right here. So you would go to mode, and the very first one usually is degrees, radians, and gradient. 
Like I said, we're not going to do the gradient. I don't think we're going to do the gradient. That's just a mind um, uh, bender. But this would be radians. We'll do that next. And you want degrees for now. Make sure you're, so make sure your calculator is in degrees. I should have done this first. Just to not leave the rest of you behind. And also, while we're on it, I'm in what's called math print mode instead of classic. In classic mode, those conversions from um, radical to decimal and from fractions to decimal work differently. So I use the math. I stick to this math print because then that little button down here works. And then whenever you want to get out of these, this is a quit button right here. So do second quit to get out of there. And you're back.